Colossians chapter 4 and verse 6. The Bible says here, let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that he may know how he ought to answer every man. This is very you see, let your speech be always with grace. Number one. Great is that the source of come from a graceful root, a graceful foundation, a graceful origin. It be with grace. Now, when it's coming from that graceful source, it must be what? Seasoned with what? Salt. You can't just give somebody raw meat like that. Just boil the meat. How do you make the meat more edible? It is meat, although you do what? You season it. So you have something clear you want to state. There is an opinion as a husband. There is an opinion as a wife. There is something you want to say. And you are 100% sure it is right. You are sure that the other person is wrong. Well, your opinion is good. Your idea is good. But make sure it's coming from a graceful source. Make sure it's not to make the other person feel that I know better than you. You are worse. You know nothing. I am way ahead of you. Make sure it's coming from grace. Make sure it's coming from that root of yes, I know this, but it's only by grace that I'm able to know this more than you. So I will not pull you down. I will not destroy you. Then after you have done that, it has come from that graceful source, not to destroy the person. The next thing is you see some people between husband and wife, between boss and between members of the church. The next thing is, how did you deliver it? Somebody said, that's the way I talk. No, 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 no. This is the word of God. You must season your delivery with what? With salt. You must make conscious and deliberate efforts to do what? To make it palatable, edible, is receivable. You must Go the extra mile to let your wife, your husband, your son, your daughter to say, Yes, this thing I want to tell you is not good. I mean, you are talking to yourself. It's not a very sweet thing, but I will polish it in a way that you'll be able to receive it. That's how we able to deliver things. You season, it comes from a graceful source, not to destroy the person, not to pull down the person, not to terminate the person's confidence, not to make the person lose hope or become worthless and helpless. That is the original resource. But in the delivery again, it comes with what sucks. You season it with sucks. Now, when you are able to season it with sucks, it's a process. When you are able to season it with sucks, that you now know how you ought to answer every man. That is to say, you may answer the brother by your left this way, but when you are answering the other brother by your right, you will not answer him that way. That brother behind you, you may be able to say, Ah, bro, you didn't do well, but you want to tell the other sister there. You cannot tell the sister just like that. You have to look at it. It is that grace season with salt that makes you know how to answer every man. You need to know how to answer every woman. You need to know how to answer your wife. Your wife is this type that is like this. You need you yourself have to now start learning how to answer your wife in this in this in this particular circumstance. Pending when God helps her to come up higher. Pending when your husband needs to come up higher. It is you that have that responsibility to do what? To allow grace in your communication. You know, one of the reasons why we are still here to emphasize this is because a lot of crises we see in homes, in churches, in places all over the world, it's about communication. If people know how to communicate better, if people know how to talk better, 
then some of the wars, family warfare, family battles, challenges people are having now, all of that will be taken care of. So we are saying this, and make sure you are having challenges at home because of, look at it again, go back to your scriptures, go back to the word of God. Maybe you are having differences with your husband, with your children, with your, with your wife, with your neighbors and all of that. Ask yourself, I know I'm right in this matter, but go deep. Am I just doing it to let the person know that he's wrong? No, you are not achieving anything by forcing that wrongness on the person. No. Your aim as a believer, what is grace or merited favor, is to help the person come to a better status. And when you want to help the person come to a better status, it's not to tell the person that your condition is finished, everything about you, you are useless, you are all of that. No. It's to go back and say, I know this is like this. But how do I tell this person? It means that as a husband, knowing the peculiarity of your wife, you must know how to do what? Deliver the message across to her. You don't just say it just anyhow. Let your word be with grace and seasoned with salt. That's what scripture tells us. In uh, Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 29. Ephesians chapter 4. You know, the devil has fought many of the homes of believers, Christians, and even non-believers so badly because of the way we speak, because of the way we communicate. Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 29, the Bible says, Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto hearers. You hear that? He said, no corrupt communication should come out of your mouth. Your mouth should not be where people will hear things that will make them to begin to contemplate sin. That will make people want to contemplate iniquity. Your mouth should not be that source. Your mouth should not be like that. So you must learn to, to brighten your tongue so that no corrupt communication must come out of your mouth. Pray God will help us in Jesus' name.